What's going on guys? So yeah, you read the title correctly. I'm completely getting rid of my DSLR camera and only shooting on film from now on. Just kidding, but I did just get this film camera and I've had a lot of fun using it recently and I wanted to tell you guys about it. Before we get into it, I do just wanna say hi. How you doing? I missed you. it's been a while. It's been about, it's been over a year since I've sat down, talked to a camera and made a YouTube video, but I am back and man, it feels really, really good. So I do plan to make a whole video talking about why I stopped making YouTube videos, what I've been up to, and my plans moving forward with this channel. But for now, just know that I'm back and the videos that I'm gonna be making are predominantly gonna be about photo, video, social media, and things of that nature. And for my first video back, kind of like sitting down and talking to the camera, I did wanna make it about my film camera and my experience with learning to shoot film and getting my first role developed. So even though I do photography and video as a career, it's what I do to make a living, um, it didn't always start off that way. Um, cameras kind of piqued my interest from an early age. I started off just making videos with my friends, by myself, and then, you know, as the years progressed, kind of got more into the photography side of things. And as of recently, um, I found myself watching a ton of videos on YouTube about film photography, and it's something that piqued my interest once again and something that I wanted to get into and give a try. I've always been drawn to film, just like the whole look of it. You get that nostalgic feeling when you look at film photos. Um, and there's just something really special about that, something that I think you don't really get when you take photos on an iPhone or um, a DSLR camera. And that's kind of why I wanted to, to get into it. I also felt like if I got good at film photography, it would make me just a better photographer overall, which I do think is the case even just after shooting on my camera for um, you know, a few weeks. Just the whole process of making sure the composition is just right on every single photo and having to pull focus. I think we're so used to just taking a million photos on our phone or camera that you're just like, well, one of them's bound to be good, but um, that's just not the case with film because you don't have unlimited photos that you can take. So this is the camera that I picked up. It's a Pentax ME Super. Um, it was 60 bucks, only $60 for a camera, which is pretty crazy considering how expensive camera gear is. And if you're a photographer, a videographer, or have ever bought a camera, you know the struggle. But nonetheless, pick this bad boy up. I bought three rolls of Portra 400. Um, the guy at the camera store said that that film was the most like forgiving and just um, overall really good film to use. He gave me kind of a quick lesson on how to load the film, how to use the camera, and I was off and running. I still didn't really know what I was doing, but um, I figured the best way to learn is just by doing. So I went out and I took photos of things that were just familiar to me, you know, friends, my neighborhood, the beach and uh, things of that nature. Right off the bat, like I, after my first photo that I took, I, I was just hooked, man. Like there's just a different feeling about pushing the shutter on a film camera. I don't know whether it's like just the way it actually feels to press it or the fact that you have limited shots, but it felt like I needed intention behind each shot, which um, again, I think also kind of makes you a better photographer because you should take that feeling into taking photos on anything. Like there should be an intention behind each photo that you take. So that was kind of like the first thing I noticed was just how much I loved actually taking the photo on this camera. So when I shoot on my DSLR camera, everything's on full manual. Um, nothing's on automatic. I like to be able to change the settings, but also like I can see the way the photo is gonna turn out because it's a mirrorless camera and it will show you on the screen. I didn't keep this camera on fully manual just because I'm still learning to use it. And the guy at the camera store was just like, keep it on auto, it'll be really easy. What you do set though is the ISO. You match the number of the film, like Portra 400, and you match that with the ISO. And then you're able to switch the aperture. Um, I was shooting anywhere between 2.8 to 11. Because because you have it on auto, the camera automatically sets the shutter speed to whatever, thing, to whatever it thinks is best and exposed correctly. What I did notice though with this camera is that having it on auto, this camera tends to expose for the highlights when it's um, choosing its shutter speed if you have it on auto. So a lot of the photos that I got back I found were a little bit darker than I would have liked just because it was you know, lighting for the highlights. And you know, part of me was kind of bummed. I'm like, damn, like that photo is like too dark. It didn't turn out exactly how I wanted, but 
that's what I'm talking about when I'm, you know, saying that it's making me a better photographer and, you know, you just learn by doing because I have to learn how to fucking fix that problem. You know what I'm saying? I, I got to learn more about light. I got to learn more about the ISO, the aperture and uh, the shutter speed and how they all work together and what settings sh I should have the camera on if I want to get a certain look. I think my favorite thing that I shot um, with this camera on my first roll of film was the beach. You know, I, I went down to the beach, threw my AirPods in, I was by myself and just walked around and took photos of anything that kind of captured my eye. I just caught a vibe. It was so much fun. And I think the reason why I enjoyed it so much was because it was just purely a hobby. Like it had nothing to do with work. I wasn't going to use these photos for anything just for my own personal like liking. I think it's really important to have something like that, regardless of what you do for work or whatever, just having something that you can do to clear your mind, something that you do that you just purely do out of just pure joy and something that fulfills you. And I've definitely found that with film photography and I encourage you to, to try it out if you've never done it before because it is a ton of fun. Here are some of my favorite photos that I took uh, with this camera on my first roll of film. I hope you liked those photos. If you did, let me know in the comments below. I have no idea how long I've been talking for. I feel like I've just been rambling, but I swear to God, I could talk about photo and video all day long, which is why moving forward, the videos on this channel are gonna be about photography and video, just because it's something that I truly, truly enjoy and feel like I can bring some value to you guys in a few different ways. But anyways, that does it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. That does it for this video. I will catch you guys in the next one. See you guys later.